Hello, I want to interrupt you for one minute before we get to Mac Minute. I have some special news that I want to make sure that we let everybody know. We are combining all of our YouTube channels into a single channel. And because of that, if you've been watching Mac Minute on the old, what I'm going to call the old Mac Minute YouTube channel, the videos are going to stop showing up in about six weeks. So to keep getting Mac Minute, you need to go subscribe to the new channel. And it is very easy to remember. It is youtube.com slash techzentv, all one word. And from that channel, you can subscribe to the playlist for Mac Minute and you won't miss a single one. So when you're done watching Mac Minute, I'll remind you again before we go. But when you're done watching Mac Minute, go over to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that you keep getting Mac Minute on YouTube. Thank you. Now on to Mac Minute. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week we're going to talk about how you can add users to your Mac. And I know you may be thinking, why would I want to add a user to my Mac? Well, there's a couple of reasons you might want to do this. First of all, if you're like me, I like things where I put them on my desktop. And if you live in a, in a household that has multiple people that use the computer, it may be an option so that people don't move the stuff you put on your desktop to somewhere else or change your settings. So basically everybody has their own look and their own feel. And if you have kids, the kids love making things a little different. And that can be frustrating to people, especially just people like me who put something somewhere and they go to get it and it's not there. So the Mac allows you to create multiple users and you can put certain restrictions on stuff as well. So this week we're gonna talk about how you can very easily create new users. It's actually very simple. And next we're gonna show you how you can switch between them even simpler. So the way you get started is at the very top, you go to the Apple menu and you go to System Preferences. And here's the System Preferences. And I'm going to drag this down here a little bit. And you see down here at the bottom under System, it says Users and Groups. So you click on that and it comes up. And you see I have four users already. I have the current user, which I'm logged in as the Mac Minute user because I'm recording this show. And then I have my regular user and I'm the admin. And then I have another one called Show that I use for other shows. And then the guest user is there by default, but mine is actually turned off so that you can't uh, use that user. So to add a new one, you use this plus sign down here, but you're gonna notice something. The plus sign currently is grayed out as is the minus sign and is the options. So if you look down the very corner, you see the lock is locked. So it's locked because the user that I'm currently logged in as is not an admin user, but a standard user. So a standard user does not have the ability to create new users. So to, do, to unlock it, basically you click on this and you have to log in as an, as an administrator account. And you can have more than one administrator account. So I'm gonna go ahead and, there's only one on my machine. I'm gonna log in as me. And now you see it's unlocked. So now I can come down here and I can click on the plus sign and I'm being asked for a new user information. Now, very important, here is this new account and it's type and you, if you want to create an administrator account, you just use administrator, but normally you probably want to use standard. In fact, if you have, say, four different people using the computer, I would create five accounts. I would create an administrator account that only certain people know what it is and everybody else should be a standard user. That way some mistakes aren't made uh, in maintaining the machine. So there's a new option in uh, Mountain Lion that allows you to manage with parental controls. And we're gonna go over that in a future episode. And you can set it up for sharing only, and you also can create groups of users. So in most cases, you probably don't wanna do group. In most cases, you probably wanna create a standard user. So we're gonna put in our test username right here. And it's gonna call it test user, that works fine. And we're gonna call the password test user two. And if you wanna put a hint in here, you can. I'm just using test user. This is how you then create the user. So now you'll see right here is test user and we have five accounts. It's that simple to add a new user. And you can change uh, the password here or any user as long as you're an administrator. And again, you can enable parent, parent, parental controls and you can also allow this user to administer. That basically makes them the, another admin, which we didn't pick when we, when we created them. And you can also set their Apple ID. So if they have their own ID in iTunes, you can come in here and set it as well. So being in as, as an administrator now, you can go through all of these and you can see all the different settings that are in here. Now, say for some reason you want to remove a user, as long as this is unlocked, you can click the minus sign right here and the user goes away. 
it lets you some options. You can save the home folder of the user as a disk image so that if they ever want, you ever want to recreate it, you can. You can leave the home folder exactly where it's at, or you can delete the home folder from the, the machine. In this case, I'm just going to delete the home folder because we haven't done anything. And if it's sensitive data, you can check this box, but in my case, it's not sensitive. All right, it's gone. So let's go look at the Mac Minute user. And we're going to go into options. And you see the only thing I can do with this one is set the master password, which is basically changing their password. Same thing as coming in here and doing change password. All right, that was all we wanted to show you for this week. Next week, we're going to show you how you can use this to set up different users and switch back and forth. It's just a key press or two or a mouse clicker or two, and you get switched back and forth between accounts. That's it for Mac Mint this week. We'll see you next week. All right, before you go, I want to remind you, you need to go to youtube.com slash TV and subscribe so that we can see you next week on Mac Minute. It's only a few more weeks left until Mac Minute is no longer on the old channel and only on the new TechZen TV channel. And is again, youtube.com slash TechZen TV. You can go there now because we're done. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.